Hi everybody, Liz and Annie here again with some more videos. Uh, today we are continuing to try to explore and explain different aspects of using Canvas. So my first question for you, Annie, as somebody who's about to transition all of her teaching away from Blackboard, I learn at UCR over to Canvas is, how do I get started? As a faculty member who's never used Canvas before, like how do I even know how to familiarize myself with the Canvas site? What should I do? Sure, that's a great question, Liz. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen onto the Canvas website. So first, of course, you have to go to the new Canvas page, which can be found at elearn.ucr.edu. And then when you log in, you're gonna most likely end up on this landing page where you see all of your courses that have been migrated over to Canvas on here. We're not making the transition until spring of next academic year um, at the absolute you know, maximum requirement, but your courses should still be ported over into this area. So you might see duplicates of what you see on Blackboard for a little while. Um, but so you're logged into Canvas and you've already, you've done your homework and you've watched a bunch of our videos and you're ready to get started and try out some of the things that you've learned. So the place that you should do that is not in any of the courses that are built in that you're currently teaching or that are upcoming for you to teach. Instead, you should go to this uh, sandbox course, you can see indicated by the sandbox tag here, um, that every faculty member at UCR now has. And you can basically think of that as like a playground Canvas site um, for you to test out all of the things you want to test without any students in the classroom that he might put you at risk to seeing things that you're working on ahead of time and not really knowing what you're doing yet. So you can practice things like uh, creating modules, uploading assignments like I have here, or creating a test or even embedding uh, video lectures like we've done in previous videos. Um, so you can go through this and do all sorts of things like test out assignments, like how do I post assignments for students, or announcements rather for students to see, how do I create assignments for the grade book, um, and all of these sorts of things that we've talked about in our other videos. So I recommend working in your personal uh, instructor sandbox to try all of these things before you go in and start customizing uh, courses that have been ported over that you'll be teaching soon. And so this will give me, as the person signing into my sandbox course, all the same functionality that I'll have in the real instantiation of Canvas when my courses are actually up there and I'm teaching in Canvas in the future. Yep, yeah, that's exactly right. So it has all of those features and it even has, even though you don't have students in this class, it does also have a student view. So you can always test what the students would see if they were in this class. So you could even, if you wanted to, create your entire class in the sandbox and then port it over to the version that actually has the students enrolled in it. So um, yeah, you could design the whole thing if you wanted um, in the sandbox. All right, cool. Uh, we will be back soon with more videos about how to use Canvas. Thank you, Annie. You're welcome.